This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News from the American Academy of Dermatology's annual Summer Academy in Boston. Joining me is Dr. Richard Freed, a practicing dermatologist in Yardley, Pennsylvania, who is also a clinical psychologist. Dr. Freed gave a talk on the evidence for a mind-skin connection and reviewed some stress reduction techniques that may help improve a patient's skin condition and quality of life. Can you um, explain to me the idea that um, the mind and the, the skin have an interaction? Everything that happens in the mind can potentially affect the skin. When the mind interprets a stressful situation, the mind releases pro-stress chemicals that result in release of inflammatory cytokines in the skin. We talk about neuropeptides, substance P, calcitonin gene-related peptide, vasoactive intestinal peptide, all are known to make the skin more reactive. It can itch more, tingle more, burn more. Inflammatory dermatoses, psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, and acne tend to respond more intensely and more viciously, if you will. So absolutely there is a trickle down from the mind to the skin. Conversely, once the skin starts to behave badly, there's the stress response of the interpretation of looking at the involved skin. And there's also data now that's become available in the past year that these pro-inflammatory cytokines that are released in the skin can cross the blood-brain barrier, leading, leading to more intense central responses. So it's a two-way street that can either ameliorate the skin or make the skin much worse. So um, if a dermatologist was looking to improve not only the skin of their patients but their overall well-being, it, they, would be, they would do well to um, help their patients address any stress or other issues that are going on in their life, either through their own practice or referring them out to someone else. Absolutely. And the one thing I don't advocate is that the busy dermatologist become a psychotherapist. But there are so many simple techniques that we can suggest to and for patients that can help the skin to behave in a more modulated fashion. Um, all roads lead to Rome in the sense that whether it's guided imagery, square box breathing, deep breathing techniques, progressive muscle relaxation, or the use of selected anxiolytic and antidepressant medicines, they all lead to a decreased release of pro-inflammatory chemicals an enhanced sense of control. And the other thing that stress management techniques do and medications do, make people feel more in control, thereby they comply better with traditional therapy. And if the compliance issue is the main issue, I'm okay with that. But I think it's a combination of enhanced compliance and better physiologic reactivity. So dermatologists need to ask their patients, how are you feeling, what's going on, and, and uh, address that. In a directed fashion, um, the open-ended questions of how's life, how are you feeling, that begets very, very long explanations. <laughs> a directed question of do you think stress is playing a role in making your skin more reactive? Is this making you miserable? Um, if so, we have the following techniques. Or one of the euphemisms I have for mental health professionals are skin emotion specialists. So suggesting to a patient, I'd like you to see Dr. Jones. She's very, very experienced in working with psoriasis or eczema or rosacea. And she can actually teach you some techniques that not only will more likely than not make the skin do better, but will have an effect on your general life of making you more comfortable, less anxious, less irritable, less sad. This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News.